What's happening, Noka? I'm Cam. And I'm Izzy, and today is Tuesday, April 23rd. Don't forget, Rally Crew members, there will be a short meeting after school today in the LARC lab. It should be fairly short, meeting where we will lay out the plans for the summer and the next year's school year. Any questions can be brought to Ms. Alton or Mr. Anderson. Lighthouse is back tonight after school from 2.45 to 5.15 in the LMC. We are at the halfway point in the trimester and now is time to check in if you're having any trouble in classes. Teachers are standing by to help you on any subjects. The AP U.S. History Review session scheduled for this Wednesday morning is canceled. The afternoon sessions will go on as planned. Any questions, see Sliz or Ms. L.R. A few students from Mr. Gilliard's fifth hour physics B class are now starting a flash physics podcast where they will be covering interesting science topics, going, after, going over what they learned in class this week. They will be posting every Wednesday on soundcloud.com slash Flash Physics, tune in, <laughs> tune in to learn more about the wonderful world of science. That's awesome. I'll have to start the speech podcast. Spectrum is meeting today after school in room <laughs> S102. Hope for Youth will be visiting to talk about what we can do for the youth in our community. Hope to see you there. Attention seniors, Tuesday, May 1st is National Decision Day. The day seniors make their final decision on where they will be attending college. In celebration, plan to wear your new school colors and represent the college or military branch you have chosen. Also, be sure to stop by the table at lunch to take your picture and make your pennant. Calling all Key Club members. Join us for our meeting on Wednesday to meet next year's officers to receive information about our end of the year banquet and to help out with a special product, project. Hope to see you on Wednesday at 2.30 in the SSRC. It's now time to check in on weather. Let's head out to South in the Weather Center. Thanks, Izzy. Today should be a perfect spring day with sunny skies and high around 63 degrees. Tomorrow looks like it'll be even better with more sunshine and high of 72. Looking ahead shows temps dropping back to 50s for the weekend with some rain. So get ready to enjoy a few days. That's your weather. Now back to Cam and Izzy. Thanks, Seth. Just a reminder to all senior athletes that the a Anoka A Club sponsors Scholarship is due on Thursday afternoon. Please turn into Miss Six in the Activities Department when completed. The final parent slash teacher conference is this Thursday. Teachers will be in their designated rooms until 4.30 and then in the field house starting at 5 p.m. Time now to check into sports and activities. And with all the headlines, here's Owen. Thanks, Cam. The softball team will play Maple Grove tonight after school at 4.30. That game is on the road. The baseball team will also play Maple Grove today as they look to stay undefeated on the season. Good luck to both teams. Both lacrosse teams fell to Elk River last night. They will look to get back in action on Wednesday. Elsewhere, the Twins beat the Astros 9-5, and the Bucks swept aside the Pistons in the first round of the NBA playoffs. Fear the deer. That's a look at sports and activities. I'm Owen, now back to Cam. Thanks, Owen. Remember, if you missed anything during the newscast or was absent for a day, remember, you can find us on the NOKA TV news channel on YouTube and get caught up. Before we go, it's time for the fun fact of the day, brought to you by no one in particular. Did you know that Americans spend more on candy, over $800 million during the week leading up to Easter, according to CNBC? That's more than we do on Halloween, which stop at, at slightly less than $800 million. $800 million? Is that all? We need to set our sights higher around here. Let's go, let's go America. $1 billion on candy next Halloween. I'm so inspired. Today's lunch is Nashville Hot Chicken Bites. That's the news. I'm Cam. And I'm Izzy. And I can't read. Have a splendid day, Anoka.